Hello Cancer, this is Renee and welcome to my channel if you're new. If you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate your support. This is your reading for January 1st through the 15th. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pull some oracle cards and then we're going to get into your tarot. Okay, Cancer, we have growth. And we have despondence. Okay, so I feel like, you know, you're, I feel like you may have a lot of growth. Um, there's something that you're progressing through since last year since 2022 I feel like you're making some sort of progression you are moving past some sort of situation yes we have close encounters okay and we have the roses kiss so definitely okay so actually maybe something is growing um, maybe it's love that's growing cancer feel like if you're single or if you're looking for love, it's a very good start. Let's see what Tarot has to say for Cancer, January 1st through the 15th. What cards do we have for Cancer Spirit, January 1st through the 15th? We have the Knight of Wands. Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the King of Cups. We have the Seven of Cups. Lots of cups here. We have the Temperance. We have the Star. Okay. A lot of healing energy here. We have the Ten of Wands. And we have the Devil. Okay. And the lovers, wow, wow. At the bottom you have the moon, Cancer. You have the moon at the bottom. So, something you really don't see coming. I feel like whatever is coming is a lot of change to your situation. I feel like whatever path you are going on, in 2022 i feel like you're progressing to some kind of new path new direction that you're going in for 2023 um i definitely feel like you're making swift moves to give the life that you wish for I feel like this is you with a lot of creative new ideas that are kind of bursting forward. This may be ideas that are coming to you very quickly. And I feel like someone is, someone is the reason for this creation of these ideas. Someone's giving you kind of motivation to create if that makes sense someone's motivating you to create this new change it may be it, it may be this new love interest that's coming through that's creating this new change 
because I do feel like it's bringing a lot of new change. I feel like it's sparking something within you that has the ability to make your wishes come true. This may be a person who's kind of being your wish master in this situation. I feel like this person is the reason for all of your new progress, all of your new abundance, all of this contentment that you feel. But I do feel like this person is the reason for your wishes coming true. And with the Seven of Cups, I feel like, you know what, I feel like this person is the reason for any changes that you're making. But I feel like you're not ready to settle down with one person. I feel like you're thinking about it. You're dwelling on it. You're making a choice if you want to accept it. But I don't feel like you're at the point where you really want to make that final decision that you want to be committed to this one person. Hmm. Okay, by the second week, Cancer, we have temperance in the star. Definitely. Definitely healing energy here. Very balanced. You see both of them are standing in water. Both of them, um, both of them are balancing their cups. Um, she's finding balance after a tower moment, after some sort of change, after some sort of upheaval. After the death card comes, temperance comes through to kind of provide healing, to provide guidance and hope. So between the temperance and the star, there's a lot of great healing here. There's a lot of um, flow that's going for you after these changes that are made that you're making after you're growing i feel like you're healing you're finding a lot of healing you're you're finding a lot of balance in whatever it is that you're doing and i feel like you are at a moment in your life where you're completing this journey cancer you're finally maturing to the situation you are coming to an end of any burdens that you're facing. With this devil energy and this love energy. <laughs> now take a look at these cards. These cards look very similar. Um, on the devil card, we have the devil standing in between, well, sitting in between two um, spirits here. They both have horns. They're both wearing chains. And this one's very similar, but this is the angel. This is um, Archangel Gabriel standing over the, the lovers. Guiding them into their situation. I, what I really feel like is that If this is a person, if this is a situation that you've been dealing with, I feel like you're moving past temptation and moving towards love. Something that tempted you in the past has now created this new beginning. And it's removing this blockage of just being a temptation, just being lustful, just being, you know, 
some sort of activity that you do on the side to becoming your main interest. Your main reason for change. Okay, very interesting, um, Cancer. I feel like, you know, whatever progression this is, I feel like, you know, I feel like it's really huge on your part. What cards do we have for Cancer? What outcome um, can we give to Cancer for this reading for January 1st through the 15th? Spirit, please give me an outcome for this reading. January 1st through the 15th. Yeah, the, the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like what you were once lacking, you have now received. I feel like you're no longer lacking something in your life i feel like and this could be abundance this could be in money this could be love but i feel like you're no longer yearning for this situation you're no longer feeling left out in the cold you're feeling like you're truly a part of it like you're you're not lacking in the situation you're truly a part of whatever it is that you want to be a part of and we have the queen of swords definitely so the Queen of Swords has come in to provide the truth that you needed. To provide the honesty, the to be self-sufficient. You have the Five of Swords. Okay. Yeah, so I feel like I feel like with the Five of Swords, I feel like you've actually won victory in this battle. I feel like you are victorious in whatever this is. Definitely. You have the Nine of Wands as well. So I feel like whatever this was, you basically pushed through it. You persevered. Now, you've gone to the ending. And you're still standing. You're still standing victorious. Definitely. You definitely won this battle. Whatever the situation is, You're, you've been persistent. You've set your boundaries and you will not be crossed in your situation. And you're, you're not going to let down. You're not going to, you're going to stand your ground. Yes. And you have the four of swords. Definitely. So I feel like that's leaving you with a renewed spirit. That's leaving you recovering in whatever the situation is. You're, you are recovering. And, you know, what you don't see at the bottom is the four of wands. So whatever the situation is, it's cause to celebrate. Spirit is letting you know that you've progressed to the point that it is time to celebrate your success. You celebrate your victories. Celebrate standing your ground. Making your progress. A spirit is letting me know that you came so far in this situation. Okay, Cancer. Let's get some Moonology cards for Cancer. What moonology cards do we have for Cancer, please? We have nothing yet is set in stone. Yeah, whatever this is, you know it. It's not set in stone. You do have free will. You can change any aspect of your life that you want. You have the free will of doing that. Tarot does not run your life. But I do feel like you have victory in this situation. Okay, your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. Yeah, I really feel like you're progressing. And emotions are running high. Super moon. Okay. 
And at the bottom, Cancer, you have the energy is gaining momentum. So whatever this is, I feel like Cancer, you're moving in the right direction. Keep moving. Keep snowballing as you're going through your progress. Keep gaining your momentum. Okay, let's get some manifestation cards for Cancer. Let's get some manifestation cards for Cancer, please. Okay, looks like we have a few of them. Okay, first quarter moon in Taurus, release control. Let the universe guide you. Kind of go with the flow. Um, go with your situation and a uh, first quarter moon in Virgo assess the situation those cards look very similar don't they they look very similar release control and assess the situation and new moon in cancer yes cancer yes 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 you're showing up New moon in Cancer, relax. You got this. At the bottom, we have first moon in Scorpio. Release your blocks. And I think that's exactly what you're doing with this devil and this lover's card right next to each other. You're releasing whatever is blocking you and being more intuitive with the feelings of love and where you want to be in your life what you want um, in a person in a soulmate in a lover um, if you're single this is definitely a good indication that you're moving from temptation and you're going straight into this love affair if you're um, within a love affair if you already are in a relationship this is you releasing whatever is blocking this relationship whatever is kind of clogging their relationship at the moment what kind of conflict or obstacles are being barriers in your relationship and you're releasing those and i feel like your love is flowing it's free to flow after that okay let's get some cards from the universe for cancer let's get some cards from the universe for cancer Okay, we have true healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. Yeah, so know exactly what triggers you in your life, Cancer. Know exactly what bums you out, what brings you down, what causes negative vibrations to flow within you. And try to remove those triggers around you. Have more positivity in your life, 2023. Be more positive. Manifest more into your life. When I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. Definitely. So I feel like love is flowing through your sights. Love is flowing at the moment. I create mindful moments throughout the day, reminding myself I am love and miracles are natural. Definitely. And I always trust the direction, the universe, and know I'm being guided. Okay, Cancer, that is your reading for January 1st through the 15th. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to see your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Happy New Year, Cancer. Many blessings to you. Love and light.